Uh, hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mbarak and in today's video I am going to show you how you can download a project from anywhere either from GitHub or from any source and make that project become your own. In other words, people always find so much challenge to download projects that are made of Firebase database and convert those databases into their own because you know when someone creates the firebase database they host them on their own emails so people always find problem to manually change those emails into their own or to convert the project that was created by another person and make them host them on their own emails so in this video i'm going to basically to show you how to do that how you can get any other firebase project and convert that firebase project from the other person's email to your own email you can sh how to shift the Firebase project from another email to your own email. That's what I'm going to show in this video. So I hope you've got my point and I hope you're ready to do this with me. If you are, then let's do it. So in the very first place you can see, I have this uh, food application. I'm the one who made it, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to download it from GitHub from scratch and then i'm going to convert that database that was made here from this firebase and put it on another email step by step that's what i'm going to do so you can find this project on this link i'll put even the links in the description of this video it is on github and uh, it is mobahood stroke banjul food app okay so you can simply search mobahood and you'll find this project called banjul food app it's a food application that is made of firebase so you just simply search this one or you can find the link in the description of this video and uh in today's video i'm going to show how we're going to get this project and make it into what into another email and host it to another email of firebase okay i hope you've got my point so you're going to use this application as what well, as an example so i'll assume that you've got any project that was made in feed on with firebase you can either use this very one or any other firebase application and firebase, firebase project so I'm going to download this code and I believe you know how to download the code of what of git on from github so once I reach here I'll simply come here to code and click here download zip you can directly download it to your to your what to your to your I to your code editor IDE or you can just download it as zip any of the two it will work so this is the zip that I've downloaded and I'm going to unzip it so that I can drag and drop it into uh, Google uh, uh, Google what <laughs> Google's I mean Android studio so you can uh, see how we can convert this project to another email so I'll click here show folder and I'm going to unzip it right click on it and then click on unzip extract all so that's our project it's called banjil food application this one here so i'm going to put this uh, a project i'm going to open this project into what into android studio so i'll come on top here and then come to what to android studio it is here so i'm going to drag and drop this project into android studio you see the one that i just unzipped so it's going to load and um, it always take time and you have to be patient when it is downloading okay oh it is complaining of the of the directory shit sorry 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 okay i hope it will not complain anymore because the directory is not supposed to have these dashes the directory they don't allow those dashes so if it can you complaining then you'll have to change the directory i think without wasting much time let us see if in Jesus. okay let's just wait and see if it will work so you have to wait for it to sync see process running you can see they're updating the indices so you have to wait for a minute but uh, the better way you have to change these um, uh, dashes you have to remove them and make them any other character but not with dashes so let us wait i hope it will not complain if it complains then we'll have one change this we'll have to change those what those dashes so let us wait a minute as it is what it is uh, indexing the project here it takes time so you have to wait like real waiting okay so you can see they have detected how it is a what it is a firebase application i mean it is a android application so let us wait ah i hope it has been successfully updated how it is a what is a firebase i mean it's an android application so if you can reach that point then it means that you're good to go so you can see here they've said it is an android application and if you click here you see what you see all the packages are there all the packages are there accordingly okay 
so everything is there so i'm going to now uh, convert this project of course it cannot run right now i have to convert it into to what into my own email so when these data will be being uploaded they'll be going to my own hosting of firebase so to do that first of all have to tell uh, to see the json file of um, of this uh, application so you simply click here on project here you just click on this android thing and click on project so when you click on project they will uh, change this application into a uh, files not into 100 application so I click expand here and then if you expand it and then you come to application i think and then you see google json google services the json okay google services the json so this is the one that syncs our firebase application what with the with uh with a with applica with the other things syncs the application of uh connects the firebase with our other application so i'm not going i'm not going to use this thing of uh tools then firebase no this time i'm going to show you how you can do it manually okay so to do it manually so once you've seen this json file so you have to go to your browser and then go to what to firebase console just simply search firebase console Firebase console. Okay, there it is. What is it? Console.firebase.google.com. Okay, so there it is. So here can be an application. You see, this is a email that I used to host it originally. So I'm going to change it to another email. Okay, so I'll simply click here and select another email. Let me choose this one. You see here, it is where I hosted it. Okay, so I'll close here. And then you see here I have some other projects, but I'm going to add another project for Firebase. Okay, so I click here. Okay, so the first thing that I'll have to enter, I'll have to enter the project name. Okay, so I'm going to call this one Simple Food App, just like this Food App. Okay, the other one was Food Banjil Food Application. Okay, so once I finish to do that, I click on Continue. And uh, what if uh, once I finish to do that, I click again on Continue. And then I select the country, I mean, I select the application. Okay, okay, so. I select where the analytics will be taken. Don't get anyone. I don't want analytics. Oh, let us start afresh. Food up. Okay, continue. Uh, analytics. I don't want analytics. Create project. Then the project will be created. So I'll have to wait for a minute as this project is being created you see i'm trying to create it for another email so that's what you'll also do so wait for a minute as this project is being created so i can see the project has been created as food app then i click on continue and then we'll have our project selected here as food application the one that we just created okay so now we're going to connect it with our what with our own firebase application so i click here on settings then you go to project settings okay so as you click on project settings, first of all, uh, we're going to uh, go to do I know even the steps in the head. I don't remember. We're going to click here on Android, okay, on Android here, and then here we're going to put the package name and all the rest, okay. So I begin by the package name. So to get the package name of the application, so you can see this one's called Banjul App here. You can find it here, or you can simply go to where to manifest. I mean uh, project ID. I mean you can you can as well go to manifest. Just convert it back to where to to Android project and go here and manifest. You'll find the what? You'll find the app ID or the package name. Okay. So let's go back to the package. So the package name, of course, you can see here. It is called Banjil uh, Food Application. But this package name you can change it if you want. Okay. BanjilFoodApp.com. So I'm going to paste it there. After putting there the package name, uh, then I can put here the application name if I want, but it's optional. I have that now here we're going to put the what? The certificate ID. That is where we always find challenges. So I'm going to get the share one and I'm going to show you how to generate it and then we put it here to verify that this application we are the one who created it. So to get that share one, it's just simply come here to Grado. I don't know if they still remember. Come to Grado, then expand here. You see this option of Grado? Then expand here, then come to tasks, then come to Android, then come to uh, signing report. You see? Grado, Grado, tasks, Android, then signing report. Double click on it, and then it will process, and then you'll see the shares will be, the certificate will be created here. So they are all interested in this share one, okay? So I'm going to copy this share one, 
I'm going to copy it. You see how I've generated it? Just double click on sign report. Then I'm going to copy this share one and I come and paste it here. And then click register app. So it will process. Yes. Okay. So then they'll give us this JSON file. So we'll go ahead and download it. There it is. So I'll open that JSON file and I'll copy anything that is there. Okay. Copy anything, everything that is there. I then come to our Android Studio where we open the JSON file. I minimize this one. You know, open this uh, JSON file here. So I'm going to replace all these ones with the one that I just downloaded. You see, I replace all the JSON file that I just downloaded. I replace them with the one that is in the application, this JSON application. I hope you're together. I've just got this code that was that has been downloaded. I select it all. And then I, pay, I go to my JSON file of the application and I paste it there. I hope you've got the point. So even if I'm in my zone. So once I finish there, I can come back to application and I click next. And uh, these uh, repositories and the rest, they already added. So we don't need to add them again. Okay. Because the, pro the project was what was complete. So after we click on next and then say continue to console. Okay. So we have continued to console. So it means that we've successfully connected our application with our Firebase. I hope we are together. So we can go back now to Android mode by simply clicking here and then click on Android. So even if we close this file, now it's okay. I can close this manifest file. So you can go even ahead and run this application. So to run this application, I'll just simply come and change this one from um, signing and take it back to app. You see here, I change it from signing and take it back to app. That's when it will run. And then I can select the uh, what the device where it should run from, and then I click on run. And then it's going to run. So as it is running, uh, we are going to first enable uh, the services that are that are what that are being used in this application. You know this Firebase application. I use Firebase Fasto, so I'm going to enable Firebase Fasto and uh, the storage Firebase storage. Okay. So simply go to our our what our project. And then we go to real time database. Uh, no, no, Firebase Fasto here. Firebase Fasto. And then, uh, and then we click on create database. Okay. The set is in production mode or test mode. So we'll give it production and then say next. And then say enable. Okay. So if you don't do this, if you don't enable Firebase Fasto, then your project will not work. So you have to know if this project is using Firebase Fasto or Firebase Real-Time Database. One of the two. Because if you come in my Java, you'll find that I'm using what? Firebase Fasto. I'm going to show you. See? Can you see? You can see I'm using... Where is it? You can see I'm using Firebase Where is it? Where is it? Just search it. Okay, just come here on top, you'll find it. It is still sinking, eh? Come on top here. On the imports. You'll see that I'm using Firestore. Can you see? Firestore. You can as well come even to the, what, to the Gradle module. And you'll find uh, what I'm using here. The imports that I use. So you can see I'm using Fasto, Fasto, Firebase Fasto and uh, Firebase Storage. So if the other person is using Firebase um, Real-Time Database, we have to enable Firebase Real-Time Database. If they are using for whatever, you have to enable them first. So let's go ahead and enable Firebase Fasto. Then you come here to Rules. You see I've already enabled it. So we'll come to Rules. And then set this rule to be to true for now. Okay, just going to say it's a true. Okay, and then go ahead and do what and publish it. Okay, so it is published. Okay, you see, I've set the rule to true and then publish. So the lastly is storage. So you click on storage, and then we do what? Ah, storage, you don't need to enable it. I think it's already enabled by default. Just click on rules, and then uh, we set everything to true. Uh, just check, remove this and put if true. Ah, then to be good to go. Publish. So, has this guy finished? I hope so. You see, it has finished. You see, it has finished. So, that's the application has finished. 
now let's go ahead and uh, try to add something so i click here where do you click it is here you see create account so I click on create account so i can first put my name muhindo last name mubaraka email moves at gmail.com password one two three four uh -huh. phone number oh, i asked for many things and address and put one i mean okay kampala uganda okay uh -huh. so let us see if it will go ahead uh, if it will successfully write this user into a what into a new database so click on sign up processing boom your account was created successfully and your account was logged in successfully so let us see if it was really logged in successfully so I'll come here on firebase uh first one try to refresh firebase first and refresh you see users are here and you can see this user has been created and the address is there you can if you want this user to be administrator so you have to change here user type okay you change this user type to admin so this user will be administrator so you have to log him outside and log him and log in again so the user will be seen as an administrator and they'll be able to add a product but if he's a customer he cannot add a product uh set us so the email is mobsrx at gmail.com and the password one two three four so let us go ahead and log out click there and log out look at us see where's add new product can it allow yes it allowed okay so you can go ahead and select the the what the photo for the product that we want to add so here i want to test if the storage worked so let us pick the camera and see if the camera will work allow camera next got it okay so you can press alt and move your mouse to move around this house press alt and move your mouse to move around the house this beautiful house okay see okay okay let me take the cup so i can take that picture uh oh <laughs> it takes so many pictures. <laughs> so I take that one picture. Uh huh. So I hope it's going to be selected. So I click on it, and then I double click on it. Oh, did I select it though? Mm. Okay. So I have one picture in our gallery. So let's go back. So I have to go to images now because I have some uh, a photo here now. I select this image that we just took. You see it is there. So I can put the name beautiful cup and I can select the category. It is maybe for kids. I can put electronics. I can say okay. I can put the price. Maybe it is a hundred. I can uh, go ahead and put what the description details of this cup. Okay so when i finish i click on this check to upload this product so it is uploading let us see if the photo will be uploaded successfully upload it successfully upload it successfully and if we go back to our main home if you go if you open the application again if we load it again let's load it again let's load it again click there banjil food loading boom you can see the cup is there and the cup has come and the photo is there so if we come to our storage the cup has also come here into our storage products and the storage there so that is how and if you come here to firebase fast storage you can see the what you can see the products and you can see any product that we just added with their categories so that is how we transfer a what and firebase application from one source to the other or from one email to the other or if it is a project by another person you can transfer it like that i hope you've got the point and i hope you've learned something if you want to see how i created this source code i have a full playlist that explains step by step how i created this whole example if you want to watch it you'll find the link in the description okay i hope it was helpful to you if it was not if you got a problem feel free to put the problem in the comment section i'll be able to help you and thank you for watching up to this point let's meet in the next video Peace.